Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Week 18 in the NFL. Let me do this uh, quickly. Week 18 in the NFL. Saints hosting the Falcons. Everything's on the line for New Orleans. You got to win and get some help to get into the playoffs. And it was a, um, at this point in week 18, the old, yeah, it's, it's cliche to say, well, nobody's healthy at this point, and it's true, but the Saints are particularly banged up. They had um, a half dozen players unavailable at practice on Wednesday. Uh, tight end Juwan Johnson with a chest injury. Lonnie Johnson remains out with a knee injury. Alvin Kamara did not practice due to the ankle injury. Nafai Sewell, as we know, tore his ACL. He's done for the year. Uh, Landon Young did not uh, practice with the knee injury. Of course, Landon Young replacing Ryan Ramchick. Young got injured against Tampa, and he was replaced by Cameron Irving. But Young remains out, although Irving played well in his stead. Uh, Colin Saunders, in the concussion protocol, uh, also did not practice. And then there were five players uh, that were limited in practice on Wednesday. Uh, Kendra Miller with the ankle injury, Jimmy Graham with what was uh, design his designated veteran rest day, Eric McCoy with a foot injury, Chris Olave with the ankle injury, and then Peyton Turner remains out uh, on IR with that toe injury. So uh, for the Saints going into Week 18 and what is a must-win for this team, like literal, like you have to win and get help to keep your season alive. Uh, this is a literal must-win for New Orleans. They're really shorthanded, at least as they start this practice week. Um as for the Falcons, there were five players that did not practice. A defensive end, Calais Campbell. Other center, Drew Dahlman. We'll keep an eye on that. The old Mike D line, of course. Teams that lose their starting center fail to cover more than 80% of the time the week they lose their starting center, so we'll keep an eye there. Uh, DeMarco Hellams and Mike Hughes, both with concussions, uh, did not practice, and Cordero Patterson got a veteran rest day. Three other players were limited. Uh, Troy Anderson, Zach Harrison, and quarterback Taylor Heineke with, um, with an ankle injury. So, We'll keep an eye on the injury report as the Saints and the Falcons move here through uh, their preparation in Week 18. Of course, Saints have to win and have Carolina upset Tampa to win the division. If Tampa beats Carolina, then the Saints, to get a wild card, would have to win and have both Green Bay and Seattle lose in Week 18. So Saints need some help. they got to win and take care of their business first. They get a shot at the Dirty Birds Sunday in the Dome. Field Yates uh, tweeted a bit ago, uh, the Saints, <laughs> the Saints getting to work early, getting under the cap for 2024. They've uh, restructured Marshawn Lattimore's contract. So they've converted uh, nearly $14 million of his $15 million uh, base salary into an option bonus. So they basically freed up about $11 million in cap space for 2024. So uh, if you had any um, idea that maybe Marshawn Lattimore wouldn't be with the Saints for the foreseeable future, uh, he will be. Because whenever you restructure a contract like that, the contract and the player essentially becomes untradeable uh, because you would someone would have to give you an asset to take on a bad contract, and then the Saints would be saddled with gobs of, of dead cap money. So, for example, now with the restructure, Marshawn Lattimore, um, his cap hit for... 2024, as we just noted, they saved you know about $11 million in cap space, but his dead cap number is, for 2024 is $45 million, meaning if Marshawn Lattimore was not on the roster in 2024, his cap hit would be $45 million. Um, and then there, you know, there's a potential out after 20, for 2025, but you would still be saddled with a gigantic contract in 25 and 26 in dead money. So... In any event, uh, Lattimore will certainly, with this, guarantees he'll be back with the Saints in, uh, in 2024. That's not anyone you would even consider trading uh, at this point. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.